Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye. With me today, I have Honda's latest Forza 350 to review. So how about you sit back and relax as I share with you all of my findings. <music> Thanks to Norton Way Honda in Letchworth Garden City for the loan. Links will be in the description. The Forza 350 weighs 184 kilograms, which I feel is relatively heavy. You see, this is typically what you would expect from a middleweight bike of say between 600 to 750 cc. As you throw a leg over the Forza 350, you find a low seat height of 780 millimeters. Coupled together with a low center of gravity, you do question, does it really weigh 184 kilograms? Now, engine wise, we have a 330 cc single cylinder putting out a claimed 29 brake horsepower and 24 foot pound of torque. How this translates to the road is what I will demonstrate to you in this review, so be sure to stick around for that. Looking under the seat, you have this large bin, which can easily fit two helmets. Up front, we have LED lights all around, as well as an electronically controlled height adjustable windscreen. Helping to slow you down are front and rear discs with ABS. Other cool features is this handy glove box with USB-C charging port. The Forza 350 is also keyless start. A handy feature is if you hold this button down, it does actually in fact deactivate this remote. So that's a quick walk around out of the way. Let's jump aboard and take it for a spin. Now my first observation of the Forza 350 is how it pulls away. It doesn't really rev. Not what you'd imagine a scooter to do. It just instantly pulls away. And very smoothly as well. And it's interesting, right? Because, I mean, we're doing 20 miles an hour here. And just get past this Corsa. Yeah, so we're sitting here doing 20 miles an hour and it's revving just above 4,000 RPM. Which seems high, right? But it doesn't it doesn't sound like it. It's not it's not screaming away like a scooter typically does. It's ever so quiet, ever so civilized. The 330cc single cylinder engine that we have in the Forza 350 at least feels to me like it has bags of torque. More than the spec sheet leads you to believe. In fact, I'm just chilling here and I'm just touching the throttle ever so slightly and it's doing it effortlessly. As well I should mention that the engine seems so smooth, silky smooth, buttery smooth and that is unexpected of a single cylinder piston. You see a single cylinder piston you know the firing order doesn't really get evened out by other pistons. Ergonomically it's a comfortable place to sit. It's a nice place to sit it's big, wide, it's got this great big frontal area that protects you from the wind. And what is super impressive is the fact that we have this electronically controlled windscreen. And so with a flick of a button, it's adjusting. However, I need to mention right now, I'm hitting a few little bumps in this road and it is upsetting the suspension. The suspension seems a little bit on the firm side. Uh, the front forks and the rear springs uh, are not adjustable, you know, you can't do anything fancy with them, so you basically take them as they come. Yeah, it just seems a little bit too fidgety on some of these roads. However, as I say, it's a super comfortable seat in position. You know, if you look, my knees are almost by my hands, and so you almost feel like you're sat on like an armchair. But what I am noticing is that being a scooter it isn't so agile as you may wish or may expect it to be actually you start to notice at low speeds it's a bit slow to react it's got a long wheelbase it's 184 kilograms so it's got some weight behind it but it does feel very stable very firm very well put together like you hit bumps it's not making any any unusual noises 
but it's not I don't imagine yeah I can't say it's not going to be something that you could easily dart around between traffic if that's the sort of thing you're looking for now I wanted to jump on an A road just to see how it fares at higher speeds it's so it's so stable for a scooter 60 mile an hour and it just feels solid firm planted let's pull out here let's go for the overtake look at that i mean i'm not going to report my speed i am overtaking so uh forgive me but yeah easily wound up there and then i can just back off back to yeah 65 mile an hour and the miles per gallon is still reading over 80 80.7 all right i'm going to pull up here and demonstrate to you the performance let's say zero to 60 okay being an automatic all i need to do of course is just pin the throttle so here we go three two one 10 20 30 40 50 60 Another important ability of a scooter is its low speed maneuverability, its low speed capabilities. And so what I'd like to try and do and demonstrate to you is how well it would do, say for example, a U-turn. So I'm just going to slow down as much as possible here, nothing coming, just check my mirrors, those big old mirrors, I can see everything from behind me. And let's have a look. So I'm going to hold the rear brake and apply some throttle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, no foot down. Crikey! Crikey! <laughs> That's crazy! How good was that? I didn't think it was going to be able to achieve it. Whew. Well, there you go. I have to say though, I did feel its weight. It was, I was almost going to put my foot down, almost. But there you go. So, yeah big old beefy scooter really i mean as scooters come this is quite a big bulbous one you can happily do some u-turns quick summary then of the honda forza 350 i'll be honest this is the first premium scooter i have ridden and reviewed and you know being classed as a scooter i had my apprehensions though what i discovered it almost feels disparaging to call it a scooter the forza 350 is very refined noticeably stable given its smaller wheels more than comfortable and the engine packs a worthy punch given its small capacity. Now no one buys a scooter for its performance and more so for its efficiency. And this is where you can literally have your cake and eat it because the Forza is easily powerful enough to sit at 70 miles an hour, but yet returns an incredible 85 plus miles per gallon. Overall, I believe the Forza is comfortable and powerful enough to do longer journeys, yet practical and urgent enough to live in a city. It is a versatile grown up scooter ultimately built for the commuter who wants to avoid public transport. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this and want to see more from me, be sure to check out this suggested video on the screen. And with that said, I hope to see you on another one very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.